This video is Useful Linux Commands, Part 2. I'm using the bash shell here. Uh, wherever you are on the file system, cd, enter for change directory with no argument will take you to your home directory. pwd, print working directory, confirms I'm in home chris, my home folder. There's a configuration file in your home directory called dot bash rc. The command head will print out the first few lines of any text file. So I'm going to put in head.bashrc to see some of the uh, configuration options in that file. The um, uh, variable ps1 equals sets the command line prompt. So I'm going to change that with ps1 equals hello. My prompt is now hello. If I want to get back to what I had previously, I can either type it in again or use the command source dot bash rc. It will then reread that configuration file and the prompt is back to what it was before. I'm going to look for a certain type of JPEG file. I've got a whole bunch on the hard drive. I want those that say my name and my brother's name. I use a locate command. Now there's actually a lot more than this but my results are limited to those that end in chris underscore mark dot jpg. If I want to get more specific, I need to look at the manual page for the locate command. Man for manual page will give you uh, details on any command. So I'm going to type in man locate. I want to be able to use regular expressions. Now when you're using uh, a manual page or the command less, there's three useful keys for na uh, navigating around. Uh, forward slash will let you search forward. I'm going to put in regex because I'm looking for information about how to use a regular expression. If I hit forward slash enter again, it'll find the next instance of my search term. And this tells me that dash r is the switch to use a regular expression. Question mark does the same thing, but it searches up instead of down. And um, spacebar will move forward to get out of uh, the manual page reader, you tap Q. So I'm going to hit the up arrow key to get to my second previous command. And I'm going to put in the dash R switch for regular expression. And I'll put a dot and a wildcard here, and a dot and a wildcard here. So this will return all files with my name ending in JPG, so JPEG files, but I know there are uh, maybe a thousand or two files like that. I'm going to further limit the results using the pipe character. The thousands of lines of text that are returned by that command will then be processed by the next command. I'm going to use grep. Grep does a search for uh, the text that's provided for whatever term I give it, and I'm going to give it Mark, my brother's name. So this will find JPEG files that have my name and also have my brother's name anywhere in the file name. So in this case we've got Chris Mark, others have Mark and then Chris. This is quite a few results. Um, I want a, a smaller list. So I'm going to add the pipe character again and put in grep UCLA. This will return just pictures JPEG files with my name, my brother's name, and UCLA. This is about uh, 20 files, so that's a, that's a good number. But I want to save this for later, and I don't want to remember this long command, so I'm going to use the greater than sign. The output of this command will now be piped into a file with whatever name I put at the end. I'll put uh, pictures mark chris ucla.txt. I won't see any results return because they're all going into that text file. If I want to look at that file, I can type in less. Now, I didn't have to type in the whole name. Once I put in enough characters so that it was unambiguous what I'm looking for, I just hit the tab key and the file name auto-completed. So now I'm paging through the text file the same as in a man page. Forward slash will let me uh, search 
question mark will search backwards and Q will quit. Um, some commands related to the hardware include F disk with the argument dash L. This will tell you all of the hard drives connected to the system. It told me none because it wants you to be the super user. So I'm going to put SUDO at the beginning, super user do, and it's going to ask me for my password. Now it's going to tell me all the hard drives in detail. Now I have a logical volume, so uh, what's output is um, both real drives and, and logical volumes. If I want to know what um, is connected to the PCI slots, I would use LSPCI. If I want to know the USB connections, I would use LSUSB. And last, I can get a list of all the printers with LP info dash V. It won't let me because it wants me to be super user, so I'll use sudo again for this command. It didn't ask me for the password because I put it in within a few moments ago. That's the end of part two.